the Senate and the House ratified the bicameral conference committee report for the proposed amendments to the Charter of the People's Television Network, which is or which will revitalize its operations, retool the network, reinvent its image to make it a more effective information platform, which will inform and educate our people on how government works for their welfare and the national interest. And joining us tonight on the phone to give us an insight on this milestone for the People's Television Network, supported by President Benigno Aquino III, is PCCO Secretary Herminio Sani Coloma. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. So, with the ratification of amendments to the Charter of uh, PTV, how will this enhance the importance of the network on its mandate of informing our people on how the government serves them? There are two important provisions, Angel. First, there is a fresh infusion of capital amounting to an additional five billion. Yes. This will go a long way toward modernizing the equipment, upgrading the stations, and uh, raising the capability level of the uh, uh, new persons and talents of uh, the network. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the network will be allowed to gather or collect commercial revenues, and this will be for programs that promote education, heighten awareness of Philippine history and culture, uh, quality entertainment and the like. Mm -hmm. So just going by these two main positions, we already see the possibility for increased effectiveness of the People's Television Network. So first with the 5 billion pesos, where will these funds be coming from? As envisioned in the law that has been enacted by Congress and will be presented to the President for approval. Mm -hmm. About half of the fresh capital will be obtained from the proceeds of the privatization of RPN9 and IPC13 that were sequestered for the last uh, 25 years or so that will be fully privatized. And the remaining amount will be appropriated by uh, Congress Mm. and included in the national budget. Sir, so with the retooling of the network, will these also include uh, the provincial ones? The entire network will be revitalized so that its nationwide reach may be expanded and more people can benefit from uh, uh, the upgraded quality of its services. Mm. So as you've mentioned, uh, the network can also sell uh, advertising. Can, can, can we sell as well to private corporations or is it limited only to government accounts? It is not limited to government accounts. One of the reasons why the Charter of PPB was amended mm. is that in 1992, the law that was enacted allowed the network to collect commercial revenues only for the first 10 years. And since 2002, the network has not been allowed to, to do so. And therefore, its sources of revenues were mostly government institutions. And that business model proved ineffective. And that mm -hmm. is why it is essential that the network now be allowed to gather commercial revenues from private sources. So with all these in place now, what India and vision for the people's television and uh, our people have noticed that under your leadership the image of the network has undergone a major transformation especially in terms of programming and uh, even the talents of the networks uh, especially news is no longer propaganda like it was in the past that is the change that President Aquino wanted to implement that uh, the people's television network will become a vehicle for public service broadcasting by public service broadcasting, we mean communication that works for the benefit of the people. Mm -hmm. That renders genuine service by attending to the needs of the communities that are being served. Instead of personalities, we focus on issues. Instead of propaganda, we focus on the good use that will increase the morale and well-being of our people. Sir, so since this will also lead to a major engineering or especially the reorganization of the network itself, a frequently asked question is what benefits will be provided for those who will be retired? There is a provision in the law that allows uh, the network to reorganize itself. We all acknowledge the fact that over the years, lack of funding mm. and uh, proper attention from government the network has not been competitive with the commercial networks in terms of the quality.
quality of balance, the quality of programming, mm. and the overall quality of broadcast services given to the people. Mm -hmm. So one of the important provisions is to allow the network to reorganize, to follow a business model that allows it to operate viably, attract uh, premium talent, and uh, give our people uh, quality broadcasting that will go down to a ra uh, the rating of their consciousness. Finally, sir, with that, do you see better days now for the People's Self Vision and will it be as competitive as the major networks as your legacy and that of the President? It's not so much a matter of personal legacy, no, but uh, our contribution to nation building. And the President believes no, that a well informed people will be able to make informed choices. And when they make informed choices, they will be able to participate meaningfully in building a better country. All right, on that note, sir, thank you so much for joining us tonight on News Live. That was PCCO Secretary Sonny Coloma. Thank you, Angel.